Hello, hello, my friends. How are you doing today? It's Anita Kaiser from Anita Kaiser Wellness. If you're not familiar with me, I'm a coach for empaths. I help empaths create strong boundaries so that they can stop being swayed by all the emotions out there in the world. And so one of the things that people often ask me is, what does it mean to be a priestess? And so I am a priestess and I say that um, for many different reasons. And this didn't come easily to me, right? There's been a journey of owning what I am and um, owning some of the the words that that uh, you can use on this planet in this language. So, you know, to me, I, I wanted to share what being a priestess means to me. And so for me, this is a feeling I have inside me. This, um, it's not about being, you know, higher or, you know, to be like above other people. That's not what it's about. It is just about standing in my full power unapologetically. And with that comes compassion for myself and compassion for others. And there also comes an awareness of nature because that's a huge part of being a priestess to me. And an awareness of the moment, the present moment and what is going on. And so the priestessing, the piece of this that is within me, this is something I've carried for lifetimes. And, you know, as I said, I didn't always have this awareness, but certainly over the past, I would say 10 years, this is becoming more and more to the forefront. Not only have I felt it inside me, but other healers have said they can see it. And each time somebody, someone in, in, you know, one of the various healings I've done has said that I can feel the truth of it. I know it inside. And so, you know, also in this lifetime, I have taken a 200 hour training to um, access more of that priestessing and, you know, to enable me to be an even better space holder for others, right? And this is a huge part of, to me, being a priestess, it's about being a space holder, right? To be able to hold the space for my clients and even those, you know, if you're not a client and you're just watching for the transformation that comes from doing some of this work, right? And so, you know, another piece of this being a priestess is about remembering, right? Remembering who I was in the light before I came and incarnated into this body. And in saying that, of course, I don't mean I remember floating around in the stars. Maybe you do, I don't. Um, I'm sure there are some of us who have those memories, but I know with every fiber of my being that that is where I came from, that I am a light being, that I am connected to the divine at all times and that everything is working for my highest good. And that doesn't mean that things are always easy at all. 
I've got lots of shit that happens, but I believe and feel so deeply that things are for my highest good. And so when something comes up that I struggle with, you know, I take the time to go inside and get help if that's what I need and clear out whatever that sticky gunk is that that is holding me. It's holding me back. So I just wanted to share this little piece uh, about what being a priestess means to me. It is about that remembering, that honoring, that creating ritual and not playing small, not allowing the constraints, the expectations, the rules out there in this world to tell me who I am because I know who I am and I am a priestess and that's not all that I am but that's one of the things I am. So I hope that clarifies things for you. Let me know if you have any questions about that and if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, I have a variety of packages available. I'd love to connect with you and see what is going on in your life and how I might be able to serve you. All right, so thanks so much for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day. Much love.